I'm Chad. I'm Dad. No, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be Dad first. Oh, yeah. You're Dad. I'm Dad. I'm Chad. And this is our channel. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it again. All over again? Yeah, it died. Okay, take two. Take two, because we had technical difficulties, and I'm not Chad, as you can tell. Oh, anyway, this this is something that, that I got confused doing. Again, I've said it once, I'll say it again. I read these regulations, I get sleepy. But I did reserve my number, that my end number for my airplane. That's the first thing you want to do. Go online and reserve your number. You'll get a letter of confirmation from the government reserving that number for one year. Then... We sent a letter in. We did. So when we got the confirmation that the reservation of the N number was actually official, they gave you some more information in that letter to then further get that N number actually assigned to a plane. So it asks you to send a written request of approval of assignment of your actual N number, which you will include in your letter. You will give the type of aircraft, which is the American STOL home built aircraft. You'll include the manufacturer, which is Rand's Designs, and you'll include the model, S21 Outbound, and then the serial number of your plane. You send that with, I believe, a $10 check, and we mailed this off on June 17th, and we received a response back on June 28th, which was pretty crazy how quick it got back with us. Which is the way you hope it would be. Yes, but if you were to just go on the website, Federal Aviation Administration, it is super confusing and the steps in order of what you need to do. So next step, after you get that in number reserve, you need to ask RANS for your bill of sale because your purchase order is not gonna be enough to satisfy the federal government that you have a plane and then it's put together. So you want the bill of sale from RANS. They may say, hey, you don't need that yet. Say, no, I'd like it. Go ahead and send it to me. Because time slips away from you real fast. Absolutely. And you can't speak to a live human with the federal aviation, unfortunately. So that makes this process even more challenging. So what we got in this letter, which is what we needed to know, was a completed aircraft registration. Just this. In ink, it's form 8050-1. And we needed a form 8050-88 that needs to be notarized. Yes, this is an affidavit of ownership for amateur built and other non-type certificated aircraft. And we needed a bill of sale from Rams. So we're kind of late getting this done. I registered, I received confirmation of reservation back in November. So time slips away from you, as we've said before. So you needed to get this done as quickly as possible. We're about to send all this in. So. Those of you that don't know how to do it or never done it before, like me, I've never done it before. I know how now, but uh, with a lot of help. Yes, I'm behind the scenes. Yeah. So our next step is to actually send back this packet of information that's kind of sitting right here, which includes their letter, kind of with the check marks uh, of what needs to be included in the packet, a $5 check, which that's random. Uh, the aircraft registration application, our bill of sale from RANS, and this affidavit of ownership. And we're also including, because the letter that came back from the Federal Aviation Administration was a little unclear as to whether or not the N number that he reserved is actually going to be granted to their plane. And so we typed up another letter kind of as a cover sheet back with the confirmation of reservation to say, hey, yo, you have this in number on our sheet that you sent to us to give us how to create this packet, but we're confirming that that truly was us that reserved that in number. Yeah, because they're saying the in number that I requested is reserved. Yes, I reserved it, but they're, they're saying, we don't know who reserved it, but it's reserved. So we may choose a number for you. So we want to let them know that this is the in number that I asked for. So that they will know, and hopefully will assign that number to me, uh, like I requested. Yes. So if you have questions, I'm sure you do, if, especially if you've never done this process, it's fresh on both of our minds. So drop them down in the comment section and we will get back to you just as quickly as possible. Because again, 
you can't speak to a live representative, you'll just go to voicemail and it'll be full or it won't even, it'll say, hey, we're not accepting phone calls. And it's a P.O. box, so I'm not even sure where they're even located in Oklahoma City. So uh, good luck if you want to try to track a human down. But yeah, drop your questions in the comments and uh, they're heading to Oshkosh soon, so you can ask them in person. Don't ask me. <laughs> All right, guys, until next time, you won't see me, you'll see them. And uh, I'm just behind the scenes helping out on the technology side of things. Hey guys, thanks for watching another episode of Dad and Chat. If you like this video, share it with your friends and give us a thumbs up. And never miss an episode of Dad and Chat by hitting that subscribe button. Because we'll be back next Tuesday with another episode. Thanks again for watching Dad and Chad.